Hi, Ron Wilson here. Just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about risk-based testing. Risk-based testing is something that is getting more and more important, especially as speed to market is getting more critical. There are typically lots of test cases that a QA organization might build or execute. And the process of using risk in order to mitigate the chance that something may or may not occur into production is a vital component of the QA process today. A lot of times what uh, my teams will usually do is identify the highest priority test cases that must be executed and uh, probably categorize them high, medium, and low. So what I encourage my team to do is once they've classified those, execute the highest priority uh, test cases first. If there's enough time in the cycle, do the mediums. And the lows usually uh, don't get executed because we usually run out of time. So definitely high priority, uh, medium priority if enough time permits, and then lows uh, usually just, just aren't done. So basically you're just trying to make sure that you're covered as much as possible given the amount of time as we all know in the QA world uh, testing time is usually compressed so you're not given as much time as you would like to have so you've got to prioritize that work in order to ensure that uh, systems don't crash or you have product production problems. I hope this helped uh, explain the risk-based testing approach uh, please uh, look at my website at qarevolution.com or see my videos on YouTube at QA Revolution for more information around testing and testing processes. Thank you. Bye.